Okay, it's Mark Wings here in Korat, Thailand, which is about four hours north of Bangkok in Isan. And I am at a really famous restaurant called Lap Som Pit. And I have ordered a spread of different dishes, serious Isan dishes. I can't wait to dig in. But there is one dish here that is, I'm almost a little nervous to, to try. Okay, this dish right here is definitely extremely bloody and that is basically raw beef mixed with blood and spices called soklek and yeah this this I hope I hope I can handle it. This is kamu yang which is grilled pork neck and that is looking beautiful. This is also a very popular Isan dish called mam. I think it's just kind of like beef minced sausage or something like that. I've never, I've never actually had this dish. And then of course we got the somtam pala, which is the green papaya salad with fermented fish sauce. A soup over here, which I think is a beef or pork pork tomsat mu, which is a pork soup. Um, and just a normal lap. Got a big, nice plate of garnished vegetables, holy basil, cabbage, long beans, and then of course a couple. Um, baskets of sticky rice. For my first bite, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to go straight in for the sokle, the raw beef in blood. And oh man, I definitely don't think I can eat that whole plate. I think I might have to eat a few bites and then tell them to like cook it up. Let's do this. Okay, you can see that that is definitely not red wine. That is definitely blood. And okay, make a first bite here. Got to get a piece of beef some of that tripe, some blood in there. Isan style raw beef salad. Mmm. I think there's some alcohol in there. I think there might be some, some alcohol in there to kill the bacteria. That's, that is good tasting. Um, the beef is tender. The flavor is nice and chili filled and spiced. I'm gonna grab a ball of sticky rice and then dip it into the blood sauce. Grab a bit of sticky rice, ball it up, then dip it into that bloody gravy. Oh yeah, blood drenched sticky rice. Oh, that's a little bit bitter, but you can just taste that chili and that blood. It, I have to admit, it is an attractive tasting dish, but I don't know if you can eat this too often due to the potential harm that it could cause. But anyway, that's, that's really tasty. I'm just gonna garnish that with some Thai basil real fast. Okay, let me take one more bite. Oh yeah, a piece of mint in there. That's... That's delicious. I can definitely see why it's such a popular dish and why it's so beloved here in Isan. It is, it is good. Okay, I'm gonna move to, move over to the cooked section, the Kamu Yang, which is looking stunning. Grilled pork neck. Give it a quick dunk in the sauce. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's so tender and just like a perfect fattiness. So it's juicy and rich. Oh man, and it has such a glorious grilled flavor to it. That Kamu Yang is awesome. As awesome as it looks, and it looks amazing. It's so tender. You can just chew it effortlessly. Sprinkled with some herbs, some green onions, and really to me, this mam almost looks like a Middle Eastern kebab. Oh yeah, it smells just sort of like um, like a hamburger actually. It actually smells like a hamburger, just minced beef that's grilled, I think. Um, but this is some kind of sausage, I think, and. Mm. Oh, I got like a bone in it or something. But wow. Mm. 
that's fantastic. That's like, that does taste sort of like a Middle Eastern kebab, but with a little bit of sourness to it. It kind of tastes like beef jerky. Um, it's dry and salty and just lightly spiced. That's delicious. Okay, time to dig into the somtam. Mm. Just a good fresh plate. Um, yeah. It's sour, it's spicy, it's crisp, and just refreshing. And just another sticky rice dip. Mm. This is the normal plate of cooked lamb and it's pork. This is like um, pig skin, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm gonna take it out and just go for some of that goodness under there. Mm. It's, it's really good, but actually I think it could use a little more lime, lime juice for me, so it's not that sour. Yeah, oh yeah, and then finally the soup over here. Okay, mix up the soup. This looks pretty porky indeed. I'm just gonna get a piece of pork first with some of that soup. Mm. It's, this one could be a little more sour too. It's, um, it's good and porky, spicy, nicely, nice flavor, but I think it could use an extra squeeze of lime in this in this dish, but that's good. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to mention this little dish of chilies and, and garlic. Um, so you can just kind of pick out a piece of garlic and then just pop it in your mouth. Or chili if you like. Oh, that's, I love it. I could eat this raw garlic like candy. Oh, so good. So after trying all of the dishes, I really like that mum. That really tastes like a charbroiled hamburger. Um, but also that kong yang, the grilled pork is amazing. Uh, the sok lek is really good, but I don't think I want to eat that whole plate. This is uh, definitely uh, an old school, awesome restaurant in Korat. That was a great meal. I am like meated out right now. I might have to go vegetarian for dinner. But no, that was a lot of meat. I'm stuffed. Pork, beef, raw beef. Yeah, it was all really good. Um, nice antique atmosphere here. And this is a great restaurant if you ever happen to be in Konat. Hey, it's Mark Weens here. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Click on one of the thumbnails to keep watching more videos. And if you're not already subscribed, you gotta get subscribed right now so you don't miss more delicious food and travel videos. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.